Hello guys, Xantu here, and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. It has been a little bit, but we are back. We got some fun news, but first, in other fun news, Ben Q actually sent me something and wanted me to showcase it on a video. So I'm just gonna throw that in real quick. It'll be just a minute or two, and then I'll be right back. Ben Q has sent me their screen bar e-reading lamp to review and show to you all. Ben Q has been studying the fact in the vast majority of our desk and workstations, they happen to be inefficiently lit. The BingQ screen bar e-reading lamp is designed specifically for digital screen time. A good light like this will reduce reflected glare, prevent eye strain, and dry eyes. With the ambient light sensor that will also adjust the brightness levels automatically and instantly, the BingQ screen bar is the ultimate space saving task light for me as well. It just sits out of the way on top of the monitor. I was first worried about it being a distraction, but it quickly became a part of the setup and now is a useful tool in my daily workflow. With its design, it doesn't reflect on the screen in the slightest. Although, I, d I do have to say, it will definitely let you know if there is dust on your desk, and your keyboard, and your mouse, and pretty much everything. So, um, be prepared to do some cleaning to l when you learn that you, you, you have it in a while. <laughs> it's powered by USB, so you don't need an outlet, which is fantastic. With my setup constantly fighting for an outlet, I really do appreciate that a lot. I'm a big fan of warm color temperature when it comes to lighting, and the BenQ screen bar really does not let me down. I can make it as warm as my heart desires and then even beyond. It also has a very beautiful cool setting which is great for video, but you'll usually see me using the warm. I've been using the screen bar for about a week now and I found that it helped my eyes not feel so strained after streaming, recording, or editing for long sessions. Personally, I've used the screen bar to light up my desk when writing in my daily planner, my gratitude book, or doing paperwork in general, uh, also building Lego. It's been fantastic for building Lego and my first thought as well when it came to the screen bar was for people who film their desk often for things like Lego builds or Warhammer painting. If you think the BenQ screen bar might be ideal for you, please check out BenQ's website and the links below for more details on the screen bar and other BenQ products. You can purchase it through my Amazon affiliate link in the description below for 99 US dollars. Thanks again to BenQ for sending me the screen bar in return for this review. I'm very happy to continue using it and I hope you guys liked it too. All right, so uh, thank you uh, for watching that. I appreciate it very much. Ooh, Flick is here. But uh, they were kind enough to send me that, and I was so excited. And, uh, you know, with BenQ, I couldn't say no. I mean, <laughs> and there, there was no way to say no to that. I love, uh, I've used their monitors for years and everything. So the fact that they wanted to work with me um, was actually kind of amazing because I didn't even reach out to them. They reached out to me, which I've not ever had before. So that was amazing. Um... But yeah, very much appreciated. So, anyways, I have some news for you all. Uh, when I was recording a members-only video, uh, which will be out uh, soon after this, by the way, so a little bit out of order here, um, we we had someone um, who wanted to move out. Um, I don't know if they're still here or not, uh, so we will see. Um, it's not Eugene, don't worry. We're still good on the old Eugene front. Eugene will never leave. He is a... Roanoke for life, um, but it is our very own, not Eugene, <laughs> it is Philbert, so he's going to be moving out because he wanted to essentially, and as much as I love his like lunar layout and um, you know all the beautiful stuff he has, I want to obviously, you know, I want to try new people and or new villagers and get more people in general. <laughs> So, that's that's what we're doing today. Um, or what we did the other day and it's continuing in today, I guess. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do that just to, you know, sort of progress. And maybe it, it's good because, you know, we can get someone in um, who may you know, be uh, more fitting for us. Who knows? Maybe we can get another koala. That's always good. Zach loves koalas. So if he comes over and visit, it's, uh, you know, he can come and uh, check out their koala collection. <laughs> Uh, geez. Uh, anyways, uh, one thing I was talking about on the members' videos about all of the changes I'm going to make, and uh, those are going to be made on stream uh, within. Well, maybe I'll even consider that today. Who knows? Maybe I'll start terraforming a little bit today. We'll see. Um, but anyways, um, you know, if you want to check out the streams if you haven't already, please do. Uh, it's just over on twitchtv Xanatoy. And um, I really, really enjoy uh, streaming, and it's obviously great for getting so much done. And with terraforming, it's going to be a lot to get done. Um, you'll obviously see all of the 
um, you know, the tour and the highlights of that. And speaking of tours and highlights, uh, the old, um, what are they called? Dream addresses. I've uh, written, written all of them down. So thank you so much for providing all of those. I'm going to be doing a full uh, kind of showcase of all the ones that I've seen thus far, at least. Um, and I think it's going to be one island per video, essentially. So we're going to have a lot of videos. It's just they will take me they, they take me 20 or 30 minutes to get through, um, if not more, depending on like what I'm looking at. Um, so I hope that's okay. Uh, I assume it would be because I mean it's just more videos. But um, yeah, we'll be starting that uh, within the next day or two. So again, thank you all so so much for that. Uh, I'm going to see if I can record all of them in the next, uh, or not all of them, a good bit of them. I got over 50 or so, um, code, so it's going to be, it's going to be a lot. <laughs> it's going to be a lot to get through, but, um, you know, it, it's, it's going to be for, for the, for the best. <laughs> no, no, it's going to be great, I think. I'm excited to see what kind of, you know, creativity that you all have, uh, that I do not possess. Um, by the way, where is Red? I've still not had him since I recorded my video about Red, which was one time. <laughs> also, I got this from Innes, so I put it down today as well. I don't know if I had any mail today. I sort of end up running away a little too quick. Okay, yeah, nothing today. Um, but yeah, so uh, you can see we got a lot of flowers to move. We got a lot of pretty much everything to do. This bridge is gone now, so we're slowly filling this area in. Um... Like a lot of this, I'm going to be cutting through these mountains and reusing them, but then maybe putting villagers' homes on them. Uh, but I'm going to do it one at a time so I can sort of decorate to my little heart's content to make it like something themed for each villager, or at least themed to their house. Um, which that's going to make them a little bit more set in stone on the uh, island for sure. Uh, and I want to start gifting stuff uh, to like uh, Deidre, because she doesn't have that many items in her house. And I want her house to look nicer, so I'm hoping if I can give her some stuff, you know, she'll start, start being able to make it look nicer and nicer, so. Uh, speaking of which, let's go into Nook's uh, cranny and see if we got anything. I look forward to seeing if this can upgrade more as well. I'm hoping that when it comes to, like, the fall update that this can get to an even bigger store. Um, but who knows? Uh, I want to sell. I do have a bunch of fossils to give you now. Uh... Oh, T-Rex tail. I don't know if I need to keep that for something. I will just in case. Alright. A whole bunch of stuff to sell there at least. Uh, I think... Um, I think that's good. I'm just making sure I didn't have anything else on me. Uh, too important, but that seems good to me. Can I sell my thousand bells for a million bells? Because that would be really useful to my profits. Um, but I'm not sure if it can work that way. I really like this like blue imperial screen. Partition, uh, rather. I think that actually might come in handy for some uh, decor that I'm working on. Also, I do actually want this for once. Um, because this will be great. I never really thought about using it for the camping area, but of course. Um, which, hey, maybe that's one thing we'll work on. Maybe I'll uh, go like do up the camping area a little bit. That could be kind of fun. Um... Let's see, what kind of stuff do we have in here today? Sorry, I'm just sort of uh, thinking... Thinking about what I want to do exactly. Oh, that's really pretty. I saw someone who um, displayed all of their umbrellas on the ground. It was really fun. I can't remember exactly who, so I do apologize. I believe it was someone who uh, watches the streams, and that was really, really fun to see. It was fun to see them all displayed out. Alright, so. Excuse me. <laughs> Gotta get back. I've still not had more than just the surfboard and the fan. I don't know if that's just the limit, you know, to what there is right now, or if there's going to be more. Uh, but we shall see, I guess, in general. And, uh, you know, I'm a really big fan of... Uh, let me actually go ahead and switch over here. I'm a really big fan of the dirt paths because of how it looks more outdoorsy. And if um, if you're not a member, in, which, again, this is going up before the member one, so it's going to be a little bit different. But what I speak about in that is I speak about... Um, Switching over to basically making my place an outdoorsy theme. Uh, and by that, I mean making it like, you know, cabin-y feeling and all that. So I'm trying to decide if I prefer, you know, the dirt path or if I prefer this. Because I guess the plus with the dirt path is it's obviously very outdoorsy. But I guess sort of is. So same with cobblestone away because you would kind of see it around those areas. But I don't know. 
Um, the stone feels like it may be a better bet, so we may end up switching back to that. Really wish there was a button just to be like, hey, yes, I would like to wap the islands and redo. <laughs> I could really use that button right now, but I guess given enough time and persistence, we can sort of get to that point on our own. Um, now, one thing I want to do is, do I have any fruit on me by chance? Uh, never. <laughs> Uh, there was, ah, apples, here we go. So I want to dig up these trees so I can sort of, uh, see what I'm doing a little bit better. Uh, more so than anything. So let me go ahead and eat one of these. I'll actually go ahead and eat two so I can dig up both of them. Okay, exactly what I wanted to do. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Um... By the way, um, so I'm not. I don't, I, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> With uh, being cute and as a green, I actually don't have to talk about the screen bar more than that, like one minute thing. And it was like, and I say quote unquote agreement because they just asked me if I would. Like it was no like contractual anything. They were just like, do you want to check this out? We think you would like it. And I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, and they gave me like all the freedom in the world, which like, I, honestly that was what sold me to do it is just the fact that they didn't want to make me do anything in any certain way, which was really nice because uh, that's it's not very often you get that. So I was uh, excited about that. <clears throat> nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Losing my voice. <laughs> so I got to make that noise, of course. Um, but yeah, so I thought that was very nice. And um, oh, was that sand? Well, it was sand, uh, but it was very nice of them to kind of let me do that, I think, which I mean, I guess that's, you know, the way it should be. Um, and with that, you know, I kind of like just took it to show what I've been using it for and everything. And I'm even using it right now. When I get ideas, I write in my notebook uh, beside of me or I draw little things uh, that I use on my mouse pad. Um, sort of like my little planner thing that I show in the, <laughs> the little uh, video. Uh, and now I've been using that to uh, continue um, like knowing what to do in this series so it actually works out pretty good for me uh, because otherwise it was quite dark on my desk like I have this like a little lot behind my uh, monitors um, but you know it would blind me <laughs> otherwise so it's kind of nice having that actually so it did actually serve me on a real purpose which I think is fantastic because I'm glad that I can show us something that I'm actually using obviously kind of want to see what this just look like as a circle that's not too bad I'll see if I can get one of those custom designs to put inside of it that would be kind of fun all right so something to there maybe I do like the dirt path I think I do like the dirt path it's just going to be a little bit more maintenance I think uh, you know, trying to keep up uh, making it look nice. I think that's going to be the main thing. Oh, I'm already full. Alright, that's fine. Let me go ahead and uh, just take a couple bits over here. Uh, and then we'll drop that down and that down. And that'll be good. And then we can dig that one up. Just because I only want to do one thing here, so this is pretty easy. So I want to go ahead and do this, take a dirt path, and just fill this little bit in here. There we go. So, just makes that a little bit, uh, a little bit nicer. I think I might end up turning this, um, entirely into something. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. I know, something's very vague, because it's very vague in my man mind right now, too. Um, but I might also... Oh, that kind of works. No, kinda. Let me do this. Uh, let me actually switch to the grass just so I don't have to accidentally undo stuff as well. So I'm actually going to take this out because I I have I have different plans now, <laughs> or so I think I do. All right, so something like this can. Go to there, um, and then we can maybe, let's come out here with, uh, let's actually do the dirt path first, so this is going to be a bit of a odd one, I think, to try to figure out where this fits the best, but we'll see, because it may have worked better here, although I can't get one there, so maybe not, 
Looks like a little fishy. <laughs> Oops. Alright, so my plan was to do this. Uh, I believe, I could be wrong, I believe I saw one of, uh, one of our, uh, members or, uh, subscribers on Twitch, rather. Uh, his friend, or their friend, rather. Um, it's Ego Mouse, by the way. Uh, their friend, uh, did something kinda similar to this, so I'm sort of doing a rough copy, I should say. Uh, and I say rough because, I mean... <laughs> it's, it's me. <laughs> so, like, obviously, if you use these, they won't connect, which is kind of brilliant. So, we're going to see if I can uh, continue to make this look okay. Because I think with some decoration, this will look alright. So, it's kind of like a little, you know, it, look, it at least looks like it has something. Um, and then maybe I can sneak in another dirt one here, because even this can be, yeah... All right. Uh, I guess this is also a lot of trial and error to see what looks right. But I'm thinking if I do this and then like maybe get some of those little like, uh, you know, do I have any? Let me see. So in the custom bits, there's like yeah, these kind of like clovers. So having things like that essentially, which oops. Let me. Can I actually? There we go. Kick that one. Like I kind of would love for it to be in the middle, but obviously that's not how it works in this uh, with the. I mean, there's no, like, central thing to really make that happen. Um, but obviously, that's sort of what I mean. It's just having something like that. But I need one that's a little less, um, I guess, hard on the, the corners itself. I don't remember what these weeds are. Okay, that, I mean, that kind of works, but that might be more for grass itself. Uh, and another thing, weeds are beautiful. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but, like... They look so nice when you get the right ones placed down. Um, so that, that actually could be something, maybe. Um, like, because like when you get the really flowery ones, I think they actually look very, very nice. It's a little bit more difficult where it goes on the outsides of this, but I'm sure I can make something of that. Um, I gotta learn, I guess, how to place them to where it's gonna look nice, because that's gonna be the hardest bit. Um, yeah, I wish I could get it dead in the center, but obviously, I'd have to have like a four one that, like a one that you place down four of, but it's only for the middle and the rest is just like alpha, but that's going to be a bit, I think a bit of a stretch to get right now, uh, at least for uh, my current situation. Yeah, I got like these stepping stones, I got like the little footprint stuff too, which is cute, I got like this little path. Um, the only reason I didn't use this path one is it's very flat, it's very beautiful and colorful. Uh, but it didn't have any, um, depth to, to it, um, which I know there's one that they literally just call The Path. And, um, that one, you know, it was sort of tempting to make a return, make a, I guess, a, not even a return, but a, a first step to my area, but I decided against it for the time being. Um, what would this look like right, right here? That's kind of fun, because it reminds me, you know, like if you have bears. <laughs> Okay, I think, I guess I can only go the one way. I mean, maybe we can do something like that and then add, end up adding more and more stuff in. Um, you know, just keep trying to throw the detail up on it and see what happens. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Actually, I wanted to uh, get another weed at the same time see what it looks like. What's this one like? Well, that's kind of nice with it on the the stone, it makes it look a little less perfect, which I do quite enjoy. Okay, and it's different sides of it too, and it kind of, the rest either A, blends in the grass or doesn't show. I can't tell. Can you not put it just out on grass? Oh, you can, but it seems to like, when it's rounded, it sort of rounds itself, I guess. But that where I'm just blind. One of the two. <laughs> One of the two there. Alright, cool. Cool, I like that. Um, so I think next plan will be, I'm probably going to end up putting um, some other bits around here, of course. Um, but I think I want to like cut a little hole through here, uh, which we'll go ahead and do now. Well, I'm thinking, actually it's going to be really difficult with this, but 
I think I can sort of work around these flowers. Although I think this will... Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to get up there to properly do it, which means I'm gonna need room, which is not abundant right now. So let me... I'll go back to focusing on this a little bit because I don't want to have to run back right now. But what my thought process there was to build a little run through where you can like maybe have a little hidden nook back here. Um, so that's kind of the plan, but we'll see. All right, let's um, yeah, let's go ahead and eat that. Which actually that gives me I might be able to do this. Let me let me head up here. That's a little bit of a run around. I could just use my ladder, but you know that's being smart. <laughs> Sounds too hard. Alright, so, uh, first we dig up the tree, perfect, then we dig up the flowers, and that's me filled, but let's see if I can pick up sticks, yes, um, alright, let's do this to get back down, <laughs> as much as it is a bit of an effort to do that, I mean, it's gonna be just the same amount of effort to go into this menu, so, but my thought process is sort of something like this, so, I'm sort of trying to make a little, uh, cozy, I guess just cove for this area. I think that could be kind of, it's not something I've done before, and then, you know, it kind of looks out into that area. So, I need to, obviously, take that bit out, but that's okay. And then I could do, oops, that's not what I wanted to do, but that's fine. It doesn't take too long to delete at least. So if I do this and then that, that. And this is nice too because now I can actually get back there from here too. So it's a little extra like bit. So yeah, you can kind of just be like a nice little tunnel to make your way back here. And uh, you know, maybe I can add some stuff here. I'll take this out a little bit more. Um... And maybe do something with that as well. So we'll see. Uh, but that's, a, I think, a pretty good start. Now, we have, like, some different things here. So let's see. Can I put a tree directly beside here? No? Okay. Can I put... Um... Okay, let me fill that in. Well, I guess I would be able to put flowers, so that's always fun. But, <laughs> I'm like trying to think of other decor. What about weeds? I know that seems weird, but I do oddly... Oh, why would I get two of the same? I wonder if there's a way to do this like differently, or if you literally just have to do it this way. Because I want the like big flowery ones. I know I could just use flowers, but it's, it's not the same, you know? Uh, I don't know if there's a rhyme or reason to how this works. Uh, what I can tell is random. It doesn't seem to be in any certain uh, order. Wait, can I do this? Uh, so my hope was to get one of them and then be able to maybe dig them up and replace them, but I'm not sure if that's how it works. Oh, well. Um... That kind of works. Let me just leave it like that. I'm just, again, curiosity. <laughs> and then we can maybe even um, use like this area slightly. Oops, wrong button. So let's say we wanted to use the... Yeah, like the cookware. It's a fun one to have for sure. Maybe like, uh, maybe I should nestle it back here. Actually, this little corner might be a, a wise choice. Uh, I'm gonna need to place something down so I can do this. Let's see, can I put something back in this little spot? Maybe a cooler box? There we go. I'm gonna kinda just put that there. Now I can take that up. Um, so put the cookware kinda like up over here. Maybe a little bit farther away from the stuff. <laughs> just to be safe. Um... I do, however, have, uh, where did it go? Uh, outdoor bench, maybe? I could, there we go, can sort of sneak that one in there. And let me do this as well. Let me come in here and use the dark path. I guess I could do this, right? 
No harm. Oh, hello. I guess I'm not. Well, no, nope, I don't have a slingshot. Or wait, do I? I do, it's just not favorited for some reason. Alright, there we go. Beautiful. <laughs> do I have room? Amazingly, yes. Uh, well, let's see what I got, I guess. Good timing. Uh, button to wrap around skirt. Exactly what I've been asking for all year. That is perfect. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, alright, so, uh, back to the cookware. Now let's see if we can actually get this in a... Oh, yeah, that's good. I like that. So you can do that. You can kinda cheat your way into being here. <laughs> It works enough for me, aesthetically. <laughs> and then there's like the ability to just go on back here, which is nice. Um, and then... See, I've got mini cactus, stone stool. That's probably a good one to have. How much room do I have here? Okay, that's fun. Because this could be good for like a little fishing. I sort of think of it in that way. Okay, we got that. Uh, I might need to rework these. They feel a bit out of place with how I've done them. Uh, which I think is, you know, expected. But, you know, again, we'll build up and see what it looks like first, and then I can decide. Um, okay, so that's the camp stove, I see. Um, yeah, I think I'll actually keep it off that. I'll hold it for now. Uh, we do have the swinging bench, but I'm not going to use it here. It feels a little too... Almost a little too, like... I guess nas <laughs> for what I'm going for. Now, let's see, where can we put a tree around here? Like, this is gonna be the actual hard bit, I think. I might be able to get one, like, here. I think definitely there, right? So let's get a cedar tree. Really? Can't, can't put it there? Huh. I thought that was for certain, easy. Well, maybe, maybe across. Well, I can do it there at least. Okay, it works like I remember. I'm just doing it wrong, or just struggling with it, I guess. Uh, so maybe, maybe like one here, and have a hardwood tree. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not like really looking to be able to, um, you know, perfectly see everything so much. Um. Maybe I can take out a bit more of this area back here so I can put uh, trees here as well. Maybe make that tunnel like a little bit bigger. Um, but who knows? Yeah, I, I, I think that would work pretty well. I hope at least. <laughs> we'll find out. Um, but for now, let me... How do I want to do this? Because this is looking a little bit funky now. I don't like how all these paths are coming like on all these different ways here. Um, I guess I really don't know what the like. I don't know where anything's going to be yet. So I think doing paths right now, uh, at least for this, like the long paths are kind of pointless because I mean I may very well end up taking half of this out. Um, it's sort of hard to tell at this point. Uh, so that is fun. But I am liking how this is looking a little bit more. Uh, it definitely needs, like, you know, a little bit of uh, TLC, but it's... Oops. <laughs> of course. It is uh, at least in the progress. I did not mean to do that. Just have it press the wrong buttons. <laughs> My habit is actually just pressing everything that I shouldn't. Yes. Uh, Alright. So if I take this out as well, that kind of helps there. So you can just jump this, right? Yeah. Which is actually quite nice, to be honest. Uh, do I have... I know I don't have... Ah, I know I don't have fruit on me, but I do have an axe. An axe is always helpful when needing to uh, quickly get rid of the old trees. So there we go. I really look forward to uh, the winter time now, actually. Not so much for the actual cold, because I don't like that. But um, <laughs> I look forward to it more for the... Uh, the Christmas uh, time within this, or the holiday time, I think it's going to be really fun looking. 
I keep meaning to do this. I'm just hitting everything wrong. <laughs> but I think it's going to be really fun. Uh, and should hopefully be beautiful. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like those events, they always really try hard on. So I think it should be nice. So how much room do I have? Uh, I don't believe any. Okay. Let me come over here real quick. And we'll just plant these. Also, apologies if you hear some noises uh, around me. They are uh, currently doing our lawn outside. So, you know, they don't, they don't have any consideration for a boy in here recording. But, you know, so be it. So be it. <laughs> They're usually not here at this time either, which is even weirder. But we got some like weird construction going on outside as well. Uh, there's been a lot happening over the last few days. We don't even know what's happening or why it's happening, but it's happening. I've looked at, like I even went to like look at the building permits and everything. Came to figure out what's going on. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's go ahead and head back down here, and then we'll switch back to the terraforming tool. And if we come back, let's say to here. I think this will be pretty good. And let's start cutting this in. That's quite a lot of room to add some stuff. And then maybe if I do this, we can have that a little wider. Pop that around a little bit. Um... It's just making some in my head decisions. Uh, <laughs> as you do. So now we can come in with the regular shovel. Uh, we could maybe dig. That might be a little too close to the edge. Now, will I be able to plant a tree here? Is my question. No. Too close to the cliff, I do believe. Or uh, this cliff here. Maybe. Oh, that's going to be too close again, isn't it? Yeah. But however, <laughs> this one's the easier fit. Well, maybe it's not actually. There's water there. Hmm. Maybe here? Oh, don't want that. Aha! We get there in the end. So this would be like our little, you know, nice little overlook spot. Oops. Uh, so I think that's uh, fine and dandy. And then I'm going to have to, uh, obviously round that off because <laughs> I don't know why it looks weird unless I round them off. So there we go. That's a little bit nicer. And I'm lacking that, I do believe. And then we'll uh, I think just sort of try to make this look uh, as nice as we can on the way back. Um, let me do this. I'm trying to make it not less obvious, but you know, less telling that like, yeah, there's just something back here, I guess. Um, let's see, camp stove, partition, DIY workbench, swinging bench. Ooh, we could put a little swinging bench back here. That would be nice. How much room do we got? I'm not a huge fan of the stain on this anymore, but it's, you know, it's like one of those things that's just sort of done at this point that you're kind of like, eh. Or I'm kind of like, eh. Maybe like right there. Yeah, it's like a nice little place to overlook. Then we can, uh, come in with maybe the regular dirt here. Put that there. There we go. That's pretty nice. Uh, and then... I wonder... Trying to think of like uh, if there was anything else I could add here. Let me. Let's see. <laughs> it's always uh, just sort of like thinking what could work and what could be best. Uh, maybe I can pop like a little rose here. Sneak over here and pop down. Um, maybe like the yellow pansies. I'll be able to do two here pretty well. There we go. I do quite like the little pansies actually look nice. Uh, I think we can get this over here. Okay. 
I was sort of putting weeds in there to look a little bit more aesthetic. <laughs> Which is a weird one to say, honestly, but it just, I don't know. It does make it kind of look nicer, to me, at least. But now there's this little area which I think is nice, so hopefully that will uh, end up looking good. That is the hope, at least. Um, my other hope, I guess, is uh, that I can just keep it looking this way and maybe in, in, even end up adding more fun stuff once I get it. Uh, but we shall see. Uh, so tomorrow, uh, this will be my video tomorrow, will probably be members only. Um, and I'm gonna, I think, do a, a video where I find a villager and then it, the villager itself will be revealed in the actual video uh, the next day. So, we shall see how that all goes. But uh, goodbye to Philbert for now. Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> he was uh, adorable and I love him. Uh, I think old Shep could be next. We'll see. You know, just to keep trying more people essentially. But uh, yeah, thank you all so, so very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. I will talk to you guys in the next episode of Animal Crossing. And thank you for uh, watching the Bing Cupid and the patience for that. And I hope that you will check it out. Um, like I said, I do love their products and I love them. And the fact that they've helped like send me something and supporting, I'm very, very grateful, actually. I uh, never anticipated that in my life from them. So it's really nice to be at that point where that's a thing that can happen. <laughs> um... Ooh, what? There we go. But uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I caught a great purple emperor, and goodbye.